Action. Even are you excited to return back to work? Yep, yep. It's quite exciting. I've been away for a while, so. Well, uh, for, I would say, eight months. Eight months. Eight yes. Because I shot heels and sneakers season three um, a couple of months ago. Yeah. So, um, what exactly attracted you to this particular script? A lovely script. You know, it was written by Fola K. Amanfo, Pascal's wife. So uh, when I read it, I was like, ah, this is something I would love to do. And then I have a very good relationship with the producer. So I was like, yeah, if it's Uche's job, why not? Plus, I've been away for a while, for long. Uh, I was pregnant and all, so <laughs> I also wanted to, you know, get back in style. And uh, also because of the cast members, you know, it's just a whole lot of things put together. I was so looking forward to coming on, on, on the set. The cast, who, who, who's, who, which other Prince cast? David Osei! <laughs> Prince David. Oh, you like working with Prince? Yeah, and I also, Jackie was also supposed to be a part of it, but um, I hear she's busy. So yeah, it's, it's a good story, good script, you know, great cast. What character are you playing? I am playing Trish, a married woman with two kids. And uh, I keep nagging, like I'm such a, uh, I don't want to use the word, but I'm always having issues with my husband mm -hmm. because I have a very crazy past. Because I have a very crazy past mm -hmm. and I'm always taking it on, uh, on my, onto my husband. And um, uh, we, we went through therapy, went through counseling, and then it goes on, 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 on. I'll tell my story in there. Well, you know, I was raped when I was younger, so it really affected me in my marriage. So, was it easy filling the shoes of Trisha? Uh, yeah. Not because I'm like that. <laughs> but as, as an actor, as an actress, you'd, when you get a script, you always rehearse. You know, you go, through, you go through your lines and then you try and get into character. So when you get on set, it's, it becomes, you know, you live that, that role, that character. Mm. So it's, it's quite easy for, for me. When the drum of death beats, only its next victim that's it to its rhythm. You dare disrespect my royalty? I decree that the voice that you practice. I remember Princess Tyra. Um, this particular scene, you were in a car, and I think a group of other ladies brought the other car, and you guys got out, and you had this <laughs> confrontation. Yeah. So from Princess Tyra to rape. How has, it, how has it been like? Has the journey been smooth? Has it been topsy-turvy? Are there any regrets? Like, what has it been like? No, no regrets at all. It's, it's all been a learning process for me, you know. Um, it's been challenging, because when I was shooting Princess Tyra, I was in Central University. So I was combining school with acting. And so I remember sometimes, like, I'll be in the lecture hall, I'll have, like, a producer calling me, like, where are you, where are you? I'll, I'll go, like, oh, I'm on my way, I'm coming. But I'll be in the lecture hall. So I used to have, like, little fights and arguments with producers all the time. And I said to myself, I'm not going to stop school. I'm not going to defer. I'll make sure that I do the two. There was an article back when you started that said you were coming to set late and all of that. That could also explain it. Yes. I knew I was in school. You know, sometimes when a producer calls me, I'll go, like, Listen, I've got exams, I've got a quiz, I've got this and that. They'll be like, oh, no, it's okay. When you're done with lectures, you come. But then I go for lectures and I, I go on set and it becomes an issue, you know. So uh, they were not really fair fair to me, but, you know, we did it. And so I did, and I'm here. I've, I graduated a while ago. It's been it's been an experience, you know. I, I, I've loved each and every part of it. And uh, I'm happy, you know, I chose this path. I can't see myself doing any other thing apart from acting and producing. Well, but right now you're Yvonne Nelson. It's like when you mention Yvonne Nelson, it's Yvonne Nelson. You go out, people want to take pictures with yeah. you, autographs and all of that. Do you like the fame that comes with the name? With yeah. the job in particular? The fame is nice, but sometimes you want your privacy. Like me, all my friends know I hardly go out. Like I'm not a night person. You wouldn't find me in a nightclub or at parties and stuff like that. I would rather maybe drive out of Accra, you know, go sit by some water body, go to the beach or something. So 
sometimes you want your privacy and uh, you don't get that sometimes i go out without makeup someone will see me oh can i take a picture and then i go like oh please please i don't have and they don't understand you know so it's hard it's it's hard when you go out and people want to take pictures and you don't look great you know so that's the only when you mentioned privacy because yeah. i don't think we've been fair to celebrities in general i i believe that the negative stories sell so but sometimes you guys overdo it that's when i have a problem how, how do you deal i don't um how do i even put it like i just ignore you know if, if someone is saying something about you and it's not true you know don't even waste your energy on on the negativity just ignore them you know the story will die down and then you know, another one will come up and you ignore. So keep ignoring. That's what I do. It helps me. But in, in the sense that you're a very strong personality, you know, to deal with negativity right from the onset, Princess Tyra. Yeah. I remember there were so many articles, so many news. Like they always wanted something to write about yeah. about you, yeah. and usually it was in a negative light. And you're talking about you usually want your privacy yeah. and you don't go out. Most of the stories that we're coming out, we're not. I think I think people take my the roles I play, my characters in movies too seriously because Yvonne Nelson is always the bad girl. So uh, if you watch me on TV and I'm the bad girl, you think I'm a bad girl. You'd you know in your mind, you'd think that okay, this girl. you think this girl is always you know she's nailing her roles and you know she's like always coming across as a very aggressive girl. So then maybe she's like that. So I get that a lot, and that's been my problem when it comes to character-wise. People think I'm like the <laughs> kind of person, but I'm not really. Creme de la creme of editors in the fashion industry all want me on their magazine covers. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be doing two photo shoots in a couple of months, you know. Um, one in Milan, one in Dubai. No, as a matter of fact, three. Yeah, one in New York City as well. Okay. How nice. <laughs> I know. And you know what? Every girl I know on this planet will die to be me right now. <laughs> well, when I was coming, Jeffrey Norte. Mm. Yeah, I called Jeffrey and was like, oh, I'm going to interview Yvonne tomorrow. Um, this is what I've heard. Jeffrey was like, no, Yvonne is cool. Yeah. Yvonne, you know, so... I pray I, with him a lot. Like, I come here and I see you on the set. You're joking with everybody. You're taking pictures. Yeah. So at what point do you say, okay, well, it's enough. Mm -mm. I can't, th this is, I'm just going to deal with this one. The truth is, I believe the media loves me. Okay, if they don't love me, they won't talk about me, so... And that's my colleague there, Anthony Jackson, having a chat with Yvonne Nelson, feeling so cool. We'll take a break. Second part of that conversation will be up here on New Day tomorrow after this break.